Let's go to the Sun Belt. I mean, we can't be doing a show without the Sun Belt, right? Uh, best conference in America here. All right. The South Alabama Jaguars. They visit Hattiesburg, Mississippi to take on the Southern Miss Golden Eagles at 3 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, you guys wanted to talk about who put this on the sheet with my UConn game. Come on, guys. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> South Alabama is a, a 22.5-point road favorite here. Southern Miss plus 825 on the money line at home at BetUS. Total of 54.5. That gives us an implied score of 38.5 to 16. Yikes. Parker, let's start with you here. Southern Miss has lost eight straight games. The average score in the three games since the interim Reed Stringer took over has been 42 to six. Insanely ugly. And yet, for some reason, my numbers continue to like Southern Miss every single week. It's like the model just cannot keep up with how bad this team has gotten. Tell me what you've got on this one. Yeah, in the past, I've done some NFL stuff where you can just throw like a manual tanking variable because it's obvious like who's tanking and you just drag them down a little bit. And I think maybe in the age of NIL and the portal, we might need to do this for coaches and just say, hey, I'm just going to bump you a couple points here for for the coach getting uh, getting fired. Um, so I missed the 132nd uh, in overall. They're 130 something and basically anything that you can point out. 134th in EPA per drop back, the worst passing offense in the nation. Um I, there's just not a lot to like here. I, my number has this about 15 and a half, 16. I think South Alabama could name their score here. Yeah, I, that's I, I've got the same thing. I, I've got uh, I've got it by 15.2 points. Yeah. Look, South South Alabama has won the last four games in this series. They've gone three and one against the spread uh, against Southern Miss. That includes last year's 55 to three thrashing in Mobile. Uh, the Jags are coming off of a road upset of Louisiana, so maybe it's a bit of a schedule spot, but eh. Uh, they've covered in three of their last four games, while Southern Miss is trending the way wrong way. Two and six against the spread in their last eight games, which were all losses, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, you mentioned 130s. Like Southern Miss, I've got number 132 in PPA margin. South Alabama, I've got number 29. I, I don't trust my model with having this only about 15 to 16 points. I think South Alabama can have success on offense just about any way that they would prefer. Kyle, uh, let's get your thoughts on this. What are you looking at with this one? I'm guilty as far as being the one that put this in the uh, <laughs> spreadsheet. Um, I, I think the um, angle alert here, I wanted to talk about this because we are late in the regular season. There's a ton of angles that point toward laying points with big favorites playing against teams that have nothing to play for. I mean, what does Southern Miss have to play for at this point? They're ready for next season. Um that's especially the the fact when you're laying points with a team who hasn't really been that good against the spread so far this year, and, and South Alabama fits that. You know, if you get one of these teams that they've covered 75 or 80% of their um, game so far this year, then the, the spread can be really inflated. In this case, I don't think that is the case. Uh, let's look at this rate, late regular season one. So I'll try to go slow here. Uh, game number 10 through 12 for the regular season, and you're taking a team – uh, that is favored by 16 and a half or more. So a pretty big favorite uh, that's also covered 55% or less of their game so far this year. And you're against a team who has won less than half their games. So you go back since 2006, this is 201 and 140 against the spread, 59%, um, ROI of 14.4%. If you look at just road teams in this um, situation, 57 and 25 against the spread. So Ooh. here we have this, uh, it's 35% ROI. So that's not as big of a sample size, obviously, but um, basically we have a big mismatch, a team that's definitely playing for something. South Alabama's five and five. I mean, they want to win and become bowl eligible. They play Texas State next week. So what do you think is their better opportunity to become bowl eligible? Now, obviously you can say you can win a game without covering a spread like this, but Southern Miss has been getting blown out every game. It's hard to find any positives for them. They're last in the Sun Belt in total offense, last in total defense, almost negative three yards per play in the Sun Belt. Uh, to me, uh, Gio Lopez is underrated. I think South Alabama uh, has got really good quarterback play out of him. Um, they're averaging 6.32 yards per play in the Sun Belt. I think they, they put up a pretty big schlacking here, so I will take South Alabama. Let's go ahead and lock it in. That's very. You make a very convincing case to be taking a twenty-two and a half point favorite on the road here. Uh, 
Let's lock it in. Kyle, South Alabama minus 22 and a half. I totally get it. I totally get it.